Lab on location in North Africa, this is Logan Bratlin reporting. Many diseases and epidemics have influenced wars, and such was the case here in North Africa. Dysentery was an obstacle soldiers in World War II had to face. Dysentery was such an important factor that the German commander, General Rommel, said that he was not beaten by the Allies, but by dysentery. In the United States, we don't hear a lot about dysentery, but for soldiers in the World War II, dysentery was a real experience. In my home in Montana, I came across a newsreel from 1946. After watching the film, I discovered it was my great-grandfather, Lieutenant Bratlin, of the 325th Airport. He was a medic stationed in North Africa. He learned firsthand what an enemy like dysentery could be during a war. We have tried to restore the film the best we could, but you will see and hear firsthand about dysentery. I was stationed all over North Africa, from Morocco to Egypt. There were many diseases, but the worst was dysentery. Almost every soldier in the Middle East and North Africa got dysentery at least once. Dysentery is a horrible disease. It is caused by bacteria and amoebas. It causes a person to have diarrhea 15 to 30 times a day. The worst part is that the diarrhea can contain blood, mucus, and pus. There are numerous symptoms other than diarrhea that dysentery causes. Yes, that is how I got it. One of my patients had dysentery and gave it to me. Our living conditions were disgusting. Flies that carried the dysentery bacteria would bite us and we would get infected right away. Oh yeah, I had diarrhea 20 times in one afternoon. I lost 50 pounds in two weeks. Luckily, I gained it back after I recovered. That's a good question. Over half of my patients had dysentery. The most common types were bacillary and amoebic dysentery. Other types were flexner, shiga, sown, and indefinite exudent dysentery. At first, the treatment for dysentery was the sodium sulfite elimitative treatment. Then, in 1941, a drug called sulfagwendine was introduced. It was more effective for all cases of dysentery. It was taken for four to five days. A healthy diet and drinking a lot of fluids also was used. Yes, but effective treatments kept the death rate below 1%. The U.S. Army said that there was 116 deaths due to dysentery during the whole war. Thousands of soldiers were infected with dysentery while fighting the Germans. Only a few men died of it, but it still hurt us. When we overran the German positions, we found that they had an even more difficult time with dysentery. Their living conditions were atrocious. I couldn't believe that they had been beating us for two years. Dysentery was devastating to soldiers in World War II, but it still affects us today. Dysentery can happen anywhere, but most dysentery happens in developing countries in Africa and Southeast Asia. The main cause of dysentery is drinking contaminated water. 
countries that are too poor to purify their water will have a greater chance of getting this deadly disease. Dysentery epidemics have occurred on every inhabited continent. From 1969 to 1973, an epidemic in Latin America resulted in 500,000 cases of dysentery and 20,000 deaths. In Eastern, Central, and Southern Africa, another epidemic caused 650,000 people from Burundi to flee to neighboring countries. I went to Burundi to see how the epidemic affected the country. I was shocked to find out that they were still trying to recover. While I was there, I went to an orphanage. There was a two-year-old child named Noah. He had gotten dysentery when he was 18 months old and still had it. His parents had died from similar diseases right after he was born. I was so heartbroken that I decided to adopt him. While I am talking about dysentery, I think it would be appropriate to let you see Noah. Come on, Noah, get up here. He has a walking disability because he did not get enough nutrients in his body. Dysentery sucked the nutrients out of him. This also affected his growth. He is very small compared to other two-year-olds. When I received him, I immediately started giving him water that was mixed with salt and carbohydrates oh! to, rehydrate. <laughs> to rehydrate his body. <laughs> Other treatments include antibiotics and medicines, but luckily Noah got better after bed rest and drinking fluids. Noah was constipated sometimes, but eventually this went away. Noah, does, Noah now does not have dysentery, but it was a long and painful process to get rid of it. Okay, Noah, you can go to play now. Dysentery. Dysentery doesn't always happen immediately. Sometimes it could take years for the symptoms to start. These tourists have just returned from a vacation in Vietnam. They seem to be happy but they don't know that they have dysentery. As you can see, dysentery can be immediate or take a while to progress. Well, that's all you need to know about dysentery. Remember, dysentery is a harmful disease that you should take seriously. Thank you and have a good day.